Welcome back to the video lecture series for Introduction to Yarder Programming using Scala. In the last video, we wrote our sorted linked list priority queue, but we haven't tested it, and therefore I don't trust it. So now we need to test it. Uh, if we pull up Eclipse, here's the code that we wrote. I want to add into our test package a new class and so that we can remember the name that we have up here this is supposed to be test sorted dll priority q and let's open one of our other test packages or test classes here uh, about testing the list queue. It doesn't really matter too much. We're not going to take everything from it. But I do want to take the imports. Might be more general and just do that there. And I'm going to take the before and the declaration. Uh, let's Instead of calling it Q, let's call it PQ. And this is our sorted, actually, it's a my priority queue. And down here, we're going to make it equal to a sorted DLL priority queue. And on ints, that's fine. Uh, doesn't really matter what we make it on except for the fact that for the coding purposes. Um, okay, so now we need to pass in here a function that will work on ints and will tell us if it's less than, well, and if I want less than to actually represent less than, that's pretty easy for me to do. Uh, I can pass in a, a function literal or a lambda expression for something less than something. This should give me we're expecting with that function that we're taking out things with the highest priority, so I expect to get my big numbers first. Uh, and if I don't, well, then we have a problem. So test def will do a first test, much like we've done before. Uh, assert true pq dot is empty. at test def um, add remove one and I'm going to do pq dot in queue of a five assert false of pq dot is empty assert equals of pq dot peak and first I want the value that is supposed to be there assert equals again with a dq and after doing that this better say that it is true okay the first test I feel very confident passes. Let's make sure the second test does as well. Run, okay, green bars on both of them. So that test was fairly easy. Add remove three. So now I'm going to enqueue a five, a two, and a seven. Okay. It shouldn't be false. But now when I take these off, Oops, control Z, don't want that last set. The first thing that should come off based on priority should be the seven, and the last thing that comes off should be the two. And we run. Bingo, there we go. Okay, so, so that worked. Uh, I would also like, just because I think it's good to run at least one test on something that is significantly larger. We have seen that pop up errors. It's not likely for a linked list based version, but I still want to do it. 
add remove 100. So for this, I'm going to generate a 100 random numbers. Equals array dot fill of 100 numbers util dot random dot next int. I won't even put a bounds on it. These are going to be some really big numbers. And then I want to run through that nums dot for each pq dot in queue. Okay, so that adds them all to the queue. And then I need to make sure that they come off in order from largest to smallest. So I am going to run through all the numbers in inside of nums dot let's use sort with uh, sure and I want to sort with it's supposed to take a less than function my less than function is actually going to be greater than because I don't want to sort from less than to greater to from smallest to greatest I want to sort from greatest to least and then let's copy these lines from up here copy paste in in now of course this is one where the test has sufficient complexity we really need to make sure that it's right uh, it's, we're almost as likely to mess up the test as we were the code but this passes as well one last thing I want to do we saw this matter for our list based priority queue I want to do add remove three add remove three so in other words I want to put these things on take them all off and put them back on again and make sure that I get back what I had we can actually try some different numbers here um, Mm, that's well it's in the sorted order sure it really doesn't matter too much just to make sure that emptying it out completely and putting stuff on doesn't break it and it doesn't okay so there we go our sorted doubly linked list based priority queue passed this set of tests it's not quite an exhaustive set of tests uh, but it gives us some confidence in here you're more than welcome to go out and write some more exhaustive tests uh, to, to convince yourself further that this code is correct.